Welcome to North TV's one-on-one -on -one with the candidate special in advance of the Tuesday, February 14th preliminary election. Polls will open on that Tuesday at noon and they will close at 8 p.m. As usual, precincts 3 and 9 will cast ballots at Showcase Cinemas at 640 South Washington Street, Route 1, while the remaining precincts will vote at North Attleboro High School on Wilson Whitty Way off of Landry Avenue. North TV will, once again, be your exclusive source for live election results beginning at 8.30 Tuesday night, Valentine's night, on our community channel, Comcast Channel 15 and Verizon Channel 24. There are six candidates running for two three-year seats on the Board of Selectmen. As the incumbents, Ann Alonzo and Patrick Reynolds' names will be listed first alphabetically on the ballot. The remaining... Uh, I, I have to touch upon this because I know you were a big proponent. You tried to get it passed on the floor of RTM, but it failed. And here we are, a preliminary mm. election. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so was that a failure? Um, I don't know if I would uh, say it's a failure. I think democracy, like lots of things in life, is uh, it's a give and a take, and it comes to compromise. And, uh, you know, what the process was is we went to RTM. I uh, thought what I thought was a good idea of getting rid of preliminary elections. They said no, and they gave their reasons no. And so what I've been doing, and actually tonight the Board of Selectmen meeting I'll be proposing again, is instead of taking my ball and going home, uh, I listened to what they had to say. I think they did make some good points, and I think it's our duty as the Board of Selectmen, as the executive body in town, to find compromise and find common ground with them. So the new proposal, uh, as I mentioned before, by Mr. Bellum and I, is to, instead of eliminating preliminary elections, raise the bar for them taking place, so that it would only take place in very extreme cases where there's a huge amount of candidates. So they would be effectively eliminated for most cases. And so we're going to go back to RTM, back to the Finance Committee, and hopefully that compromise approach will uh, get more support. Because ironically, even if I understand this correctly, even if they had approved what you had proposed with six candidates, there'd be a pre preliminary election anyway, right? Um, let's see, it would be... Three times two. Be three times, be three times two plus one. Okay. So the seventh okay. candidate would have made the preliminary. Which so I could have saved myself some. The time. reason I'm here this <laughs> evening is Megan Miller, and for the candidates, uh, we're going to give you a little bit of a preview. Now, where to look? Where is your camera? Look right at me if you can stand it for 90 seconds. Look right at me. Megan will give you a cue at one minute. She'll give you a cue when you have 30 seconds remaining. She will give you a cue with 10 seconds remaining. My recommendation, because I have heard people say over the years, you are too kind for, uh, to the candidates when they're holding up the stop sign, you let them go on for another five, six, seven seconds. This evening, what I am going to do, because it's fairest for all of you, when you see the 10 seconds, if you're mid-sentence, please end your statement on that sentence. I will let you go the first time, within reason, beyond the stop. The second time it happens to you, when it gets to stop, I will say thank you, Mr. So-and-so, or do I call you Ms. Lonzo? Or? Ms. Lonzo. Now that you're Ms. married, Lonzo. congratulations. <laughs> Being a guy, I don't ask about the weddings, you know. Chris Miller is our producer and director, and Brett Poirier is back at the North TV studio. Now, each candidate will get two minutes for an opening statement. They will get 90 seconds to answer the questions from our panelists. And the final portion of the evening will be our closing statements, and each candidate will get three minutes for that. We will begin with opening statements. Uh, the order... Right. Next candidate is an incumbent, uh, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Patrick Reynolds. Patrick. Thank you, Peter. Uh, thank you to you, North TV, uh, Jared, Peter, Bill, Chris, and Megan for hosting this debate tonight and for all you do bringing uh, North Attleboro Town Government into the homes of our residents. I also want to do, before I uh, start my opening statement, just to give a moment to um, speak about retired uh, Lieutenant uh, Joe Castle of North Attleboro Fire Department who recently passed away. My thoughts and prayers are with his uh, family and friends and I think he really offers to us at this table and those in the audience uh, a lesson in courage and community service which I hope we all will bring with us uh, moving forward from today. Three years ago, uh, I was honored to be elected by the residents of North Attleboro, and serving our community has been the greatest honor of my life. I really feel, and I've mentioned this before.
Welcome to North TV's preliminary election night coverage. I'm Peter Gay. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Uh, not much of a Valentine's Day for the North TV staff. As a matter of fact, my date tonight is uh, Sun Chronicle editor <laughs> Mike Kirby. There you go. Huh? Talk about romance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> couple old guys here. <laughs> yeah, a couple old guys uh, ready to uh, digest what you, the voters, uh, did today. And uh, it's looking like we have been told, uh, Megan Miller spoke to the people at the town election office, that the turnout is about 7%, which for a preliminary election is uh, actually pretty damn good. So I don't know whether people uh, stopped on their way Oh. And joining us, yet another candidate. Uh, he's not wearing any red. He is wearing fluorescent green sneakers, yeah. however. He's comfortable. He is comfortable. Pat Patrick Reynolds. Congratulations. All right, thank you. Congratulations, sir. Don't you have a, an exam tomorrow or something you should be studying? Uh, I do have class tomorrow, yeah. You do have class tomorrow. Did, did you miss much uh, <coughs> school because of the storms recently? Um, let's see. We missed Thursday. That was the only day. Uh, Friday and, and Monday, there was still class. So, okay. but, uh, I wasn't there. I was a uh, debate tournament in New Orleans. So, oh, you I were? missed all the snow. It was 75 New degrees. Orleans. Jeez. I wish I was there today instead of freezing, yeah. but uh, I was here. You had to stand <laughs> out there and freeze. Yeah. So, yeah. a debate tournament. What? Yeah. Did you? Were you given a, a subject in advance, or given it at the moments before you took the stage? Yeah. So it's um, every round. There's a different topic, um, and then you have 20 minutes to prepare. And the government side, the two people on that side make the case more specific and then the opposition has to argue it against it sort of in real time so it's sort of lots of um, off-the-cuff debating. Oh, how many other people that took part in